Hello everybody and welcome back to a new peanut video. Project Peanuts here. And uh, yeah, I have this pre-release box of Oath of the Gatewatch. And uh, the other video that I did with uh, the Battle for Zendikar uh, pre-release box was really uh, cool to do. So I thought let's do it again with an Oath of the Gatewatch. So let's open it up and let's see what we have if uh, this was our pool, right? So Oath of the Gatewatch is the second set in Battle for Zendikar. And uh, we have the fancy box again, which is a really nice thing, I think, uh, compared to the other, well, crappy sort of boxes. In this box we have two Battle for Zendikar boosters and four Oath of the Gatewatch boosters, together with this divider. <laughs> and a promo card, which is... Oh, that's really cool. A Foil Eldrazi Displacer. That looks fancy. Good card, it excels... Uh, oh, no, hold on, let me, let me zoom in a little bit, else the lighting uh, will go wrong. Um, exiles another target creature, then returns it to the battlefield. Tapped under its owner's control. Really strong card, really useful in many, many ways. Alright, nice start. Uh, I played two times today. One in the evening and one in the, uh, the afternoon. And uh, yeah, I already got uh, a Chandra foil, which is nice. And here we have the 20-sided uh, die with the Oath of the Gatewatch logo on it. And some rules probably, or how to build a sealed deck. It's really nice. Oath. But of course we are curious about these things. Let's start off with Oath of the Gay Watch and end with the Battle of Zendikar stuff. Because, well, we've seen that already. Alright, so keep in mind, this would be a sealed pool. So, so you can think of some things that you would do if you wanted to uh, play this. Uh, Alright, let's start off with this Goblin Free Runner. Nice card, has Menace 3 2 and maybe Search. That's a good card, good good filler card. There are a lot of filler cards, in my opinion, in uh, this set. A lot of, uh, well, all round good cards. Some of them a little bit less than others, but hey, this is an ally, so why not? 2 damage, really useful. Here's one of the Wastes. Uh, this is the new Coralus symbol, uh, it stands for Coralus. And this is uh, something you have to draft and or, uh, well, play in your pool, else you don't have access to the, uh, the Coralus. That's really nice. Wastes are probably uh, interesting to keep. Where is the end? Well, here we have some more Exile shenanigans and lose two. Umara Entangler. Prowess. It's a new uh, evergreen keyword, as they call it, so that means it will return many times. Not only when it came out in the Jeskai uh, con, so that's really nice. Uh, support 2 is one of the new mechanics. Uh, enter the battlefield support 2. Put a persona on counter on each of up to two other target creatures. Especially good in two-headed giant, of course, which means you're in a team. And uh, this set specializes in, uh, well, things to do with your teammate, as you can see here as well with Surge and with the Goblin earlier. Alright, uh, here we have uh, the simple dual land, sort of, <laughs> tap land. Cohort is also a new ability. Uh, it taps, untaps, uh, taps <laughs> untapped allies to do things. In this case, draw a card and lose one. 4-4 four, four for 5. Uh, big ass ally, that is. Same here. This one lets you find equipment cards. One mana, one two though. Really cool. And, oh, this is the rare. Endbringer. That's a really nice card in uh, Limited. And I think we have a foil. Potential. Endbringer does a lot of things. Uh... As you can see, it can ping, it can uh, be used as a combat trick or, or something like that. Uh, well, at least prevent things for in combat, maybe. How to describe this perfectly? I don't know. You can do a lot of things with this card anyway. <laughs> Draw, whatever. Really nice. And we have uh, a foil. Uh, two damage. Reality. Hemorrhage. 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 Not too shabby. Really nice card to play in, uh, in Limited because you have a lot of options and it untaps itself. It's, uh, yeah, definitely useful. Nice first booster. Alright, let's go a little bit faster through these uh, boosters because else this video will take for ages. I'll stop at some uh, interesting new cards or something. This one is playable. Well, 5 mana, 4 4, 2 damage. And Trample. Nice for common. We got this one. Unknown Shores. Uh, not the best card, but it gives you colorless and some fix. This uh, card saved me a, uh, a few times. So that's really, uh, really nice. Keep that in mind if you play it. 
this returns things, not too uh, interesting. Also, uh, the colorless symbol again, really useful in your colorless uh, resources, this one was really nice. Another one, two drop, also a ramp, good card. Loam Larva, mana fix, but I don't know, rather not. Kozilex Pathfinder, really insane common, 6 mana 5-5, five five, that's okay, but with this ability, yeah, bring on the carnage. Cyclone Sire, there's a cycle of these cards that do things with the Awaken kind of ability. This one also makes a land uh, living, to say. <laughs> uh, and also, yeah, 3-4-5 flying, good, 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 good. Storm Chaser Mage, this is uh, really nice. 2 mana, 1 3, prowess, flying haste, keyword bonanza. Strong card. And I think I see the rare already, but hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, here you have it. Vile Redeemer, which is uh, a really nice card, in my opinion. It lets you uh, get something back when your creatures die. In this case, Eldrazi Scions. It has flash, 3 mana, 3 3. I like it. Really nice. And how about. Oh, no, wait. It's when you cast, never mind. I thought this would work together, but no, it wouldn't. It won't. Because it says when you cast this card. So, alright. Good uh, card, though. Uh, also in limited. For now, uh, the Eldrazi are strong. <laughs> and here we have some more Eldrazi tribal. Another ally. This one was really annoying as well. 1 4 for 3. Good, good. Yeah, aggressive. Another waste. Cinder Helion again. This one uh, lets other Eldrazi fly, or creatures for that matter. Uh, yeah, make something a spider. <laughs> Gains reach. A tapper. Not too interesting. More uh, colorless resource. And oh, we already started with the uncommons, meaning we have a foil, and I think I see one already. Uh, Embodiment of Fury also does something with your land creatures. This one makes lands 3-3 three, three until end of turn if you play a land. So yeah, with Trample, of course. Really nice. Warping Will. Yeah, this card you have to read. You got a lot of options with this card. Um, Unlimited, okay, I guess. I myself didn't play him that uh, much in my deck, and I had it once, so... Hmm. Agro, Eldrazi. Oh, another Eldrazi Displacer. Two of them in this pool. Is, that's really nice, isn't it? Awesome, awesome. Forest and Essence Depleter Foil. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, this lets uh, an opponent lose one and you gain one. And a nice zombie token. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this. Cool, cool, cool. I say cool always every single time when I open these boosters and everything, but yeah, the cards are cool, right? So, <laughs> Alright, last Oath Booster. Uh, yeah, we had this one. Another Surge Enabler, only one mana, huh? so you can play your Surge cards. Surge cards, not Surge, Surge. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Devoid Mana Fixer, sort of, or Mana Ramper. No, not too interesting, for that matter. Uh, 3 mana, 3 2. We already had this one. You can kill a land creature with this one, or 4 damage. Instant speed, though. Don't forget about that. The Tapper, the Larva. <laughs> yeah, oh, the insane common 5 4 5 Vigilance Trample Ally Warrior. Oh, Rex. Really good. Rex, the board state. Relentless Hunter, 3 mana, 3 3, gain trample, and plus 1 plus 1. Really uh, annoying card. Uh, I think this is really a good uh, pick if you uh, draft or play sealed or whatever. Roiling Waters, yeah, a little bit too expensive for my taste. More for the 2 headed giant stuff. Make a stand, this is annoying, indestructible at instant speed. Ugh, it can mess you up if you time it right. Deep Fathom Skulker. Another Eldrazi card. And yeah, let you draw cards and... Oh yeah, that unblockable thing uh, over there, down below. Target creature can be blocked. It's, it's, yeah, it could be really painful, isn't it? And we have a forest. Nice. Alright. Also, we have two battle boosters. <laughs> battle for Zendikar. Well, we've seen uh, these cards a lot of times. So let's just sift through these commons and uncommons. Turn against is nice. Ooh. Nice. And an Oran Reef. Oran Reef Hydra. Playable, definitely. Limited bomb, huh? So far, not 
uh, so much interesting cards uh, with uh, Mythics or, or anything, but uh, we do have a lot of playable cards and that's really um, valuable because you uh, do not always have the, the nicest cards. Extra influence. Well, we definitely have a lot of playable cards in this pool. Especially all uh, all those Eldrazi cards and two times that uh, displacer. Here we have it. Let me unpack this one as well. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a thing. You could uh, easily make a deck out of that. Oh, it's always really spooky to open these. <laughs> I can't even open it. Well, never mind. Doesn't matter. Well, so much for uh, the first unboxing of uh, Oath of the Gate Watch. I hope you liked it. Oh, sorry for the glare. <laughs> um, this is what I got uh, today uh, with trades and everything. Not all in my pool though, but uh, <coughs> I traded it afterwards and everything. So yeah, I'm... Jeez. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quite happy about the cards. Yeah, I want to do something with this card. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for the first uh, encounter. Tomorrow there's another pre-release for me. And uh, yeah, I hope I can get some more insane cards. Also, check out this new playmat. It's uh, one of the best playmats ever, right? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below which card is your favorite from Oath of the Gates Watch or uh, something you encountered on the pre-release. And I'll see you in the next video. Later!